This episode is sponsored in part by Play Studios. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Well, looks like they're going pretty hard with the ancient Egyptian theme here. Maybe that means Luxor's safe after all. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks. Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So I wanted to go ahead and check out the new My Vegas game, the Luxor Link one today. So got a little hookup from my friends over at Play Studios. They dropped a little chip package in my, uh, in my queue over here, so I got a couple extra chips to go ahead and try this out. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and see if this is one of the better games in my Vegas slots or if this is a uh, promotional game you guys should skip over. Let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty then, Spinners and Sharks, let's get going. So it looks like we're going to be putting about 5 million in through the machine per spin, and we're going to go ahead and put our standard 100 spins on the clock. So now that we got some Electro Links ready to roll, let's get started. On your mark, get set, ready, and go. Alright, not too bad. Pretty decent uh, first spin right there. Alright, so it'll be finally uh, finally pretty fun to go ahead and uh, get through some more of my Vegas games over here, see how well those go. I'm uh, going to be real interested in seeing what else happens with my Vegas. They've got a lot of new rewards coming out, not sure if you guys have heard about them, but they're actually going to be offering some in-home rewards too, so gift cards for uh, Netflix and places like that. Uh, they're also going to be offering... Uh, electronic rewards apparently so that'll be interesting to be able to get things like iPads and phones and things like that so I'm not sure how many multi millions of chips those will uh, or excuse me not chips but loyalty points those will cost I'm sure it'll be uh, something pretty big all right let's keep it going though hopefully we get those free spins on this game looks like it's a good place to get some loyalty points though we're pretty constantly going through Also, some sad news on the uh, Vegas front today. Um, apparently, MGM is going to be going forward with some of their uh, cutbacks, too. So I'm sure you guys... Oh, hang on. Let me go ahead and uh, turn off Clark over here. Uh, not Clark Griswold, but CEO Clark. Uh, Mr. How to Win Chips and Influence People. I feel like I should write a, write a book like that. How to Win Chips and Influence People. Would you guys buy that? Would you guys buy the Ace of Vegas uh, How to Win Chips and Influence People ebook? Let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe I'll actually write it. Who knows? I probably won't, but just for giggles. All right. But yeah, bad news on the MGM front, unfortunately. It looks like uh, some more, about 18,000 of our friends that work at MGM uh, Resorts International are going to be furloughed. Uh, they'll unfortunately be losing their jobs uh, starting this upcoming Monday over here. Now, I'm not sure if it's part of the MGM 2020 plan. MGM's been uh, looking for an excuse to do this for a while, and now it looks a lot better even though it's been part of their plan. We've discussed this, I think, ironically, on another Luxor-based video, another Ancient Egyptian video. Anytime I'm on Ancient Egypt to talk about this, but let's check out the uh, let's check out the bonus before we talk more about it. All right, so we got an Electro Link bonus over here. 20 millions, one of them. Oh, okay, there we go. 24 million. So this is going to be a pretty substantial win over here. I'm hoping. I'm not sure what the blackout's going to be. I think blackout's 400 million. So we'll see how that goes. And we got a respin. Got the re trigger. Love those re triggers. I can't do the re-trigger like, uh, like Berger does. He's the king of re-trigger. He's the king of the swap fodder, you know? He's just the swap fodder, the swap fodder. That's his thing. Of course, Berger's a much bigger slot player than I am. I don't really play slots uh, like he does, so. Alright, 75 million. That's pretty respectable. I think that covers our next, what, what's that? Uh, 14 spins or so? 15? Yeah, there it is. Okay, but yes, unfortunately, we're looking at 18,000 layoffs for their friends at MGM uh, Resorts International, which 
I mean, as much as I hate it, you guys know how the, uh, I make fun of Phil Ruffin. Let's go ahead and call it what it is. I think Phil Ruffin is trash, and that's not, uh, that's not a new sentiment I have. And I'm not exactly a fan of Bill Hornbuckle or Jim Muren either. That's just, that's just how it is. Um, but the fact of the matter is, it is it, it's also a business. Like, you're gonna be, if they're hurting right now, you lose a billion dollars, and if you don't make it, you're pretty, you're, you're pretty much, you're in trouble. It's just gonna be kind of a rough time. Now, I don't think Adelson or uh, at, at Sands or Win at Win, um, I don't think you're playing any cuts. Oh, we got a bonus! Let's get it, Spitters and Sharks. We got 10 free spins. Often, when we have these free spins here in the Electrolink games, we get a better chance of hitting an Electrolink bonus. So, hopefully. These will come through, and maybe we'll get a re-trigger with those free spins. Let's see. If we get a, an Electro Link inside the free spins, it's almost like stealing free spins, I think. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Let me get that. Alright, we're getting a little closer to... Okay, there it is. There it is. Those are our uh, Electro Link free spins. Let's get it! Alright, here we go. So it looks like we're already, we're pretty much going to get about 50 million right out the gate here. And we just need one, yep, re-trigger at the top of the pyramid. Alright, that's that pyramid suite right there that all of us love. All of us love that suite. Let's see, how many more, oh, last spin, oh, that was it, that was the re-trigger. Alright, that's fine though, because we, we still got free spins inside, I think we still got another four or five free spins left where we can get a couple more chips. So that uh, that brought us just under breaking even. I think we started with 5 billion, uh, 23 million chips, we're over uh, 28 million, so that's good. Oh! Ooh! What? Back to back Luxor links, okay, okay, I get behind this. Oh, also thanks to everyone who's uh, wished uh, 1D a quick recovery. So uh, if you guys didn't know, our Amazon, our favorite Amazon Wonder Woman, she oh shoot, and we got that major though. We got the major. Uh, she, she's actually recovering from a surgery she had uh, Friday, so that'd be yesterday um, for recording on this one over here. Uh, I believe this video does come out on Saturday, so it'd be yesterday she had a surgery and we were successful, so that uh, that's good. Um, I don't think I've released a video for being successful. I definitely, uh, definitely have to take a pretty long hiatus there, um, but no, we were 100% successful. She was feeling good, just on uh, on bed rest right now. Um, talking with uh, talking with friends and family, so that's actually really nice. So that's been great. So thank you all for your well wishes, and then I'll see you guys in a week with some uh, with some fresh content after uh, after I know she's uh, feeling good and in good shape, and I'll feel good about uh, going back to vlogging. All right, cool, cool. Well, let's go ahead and do the spinners and sharks. Let's go ahead and spin down the rest of these uh, spins over here. And we're coming up on think I think that was 40 spins now, so we'll go ahead and keep going. But yeah, it is uh, rather unfortunate to see that we've got some more layoffs there. I'm hoping they're mostly middle management, so I got through the top portion of the article there. But, you know, 18,000 layoffs, that's a lot of bartenders, and it's its kind of a shame just to, you know, to come back very for a very short period of time, especially since they just restarted, uh, restarted a lot of casinos and all that. Um, Barrage finally uh, reopened now that the demand's high enough, but I'm not sure about the rest of the how the rest of everything is going to go now. Uh, so I'm not sure Park MGM is even going to open. If they're still laying people off, would they want to open uh, Park MGM? Would you guys, do you guys want to go back to Park MGM? Uh, now that Mirage is open and Ari is open and Bellagio is open and quite literally everywhere else. I think it's just Park MGM and Four Caesars. Four Caesars. <laughs> and Four Seasons at uh, Delano and Mandalay Bay that aren't open as of right now if we're talking about the MLife properties and, you know, obviously, uh, you know, the, the top of the property at um, Park MGM as well is not open because the park itself is not open. So, kind of makes it wonder. Um, although, out of all the properties, I found, kind of found Park MGM to be the most kind of forgettable. At least, uh, I mean, I've stayed there, you guys know, I've stayed there, so I've been there, and it's, it, it's, it's clean. I do like that it's very clean. It's one of the cleaner, uh, MGM properties I've ever stayed at, probably because it's so new and they put so much into the renovation and all that, but it's just never been, it's never really been my property, it's just not, I mean, I, I don't spend a lot of time there, I'm not that 
that huge on the atmosphere over there, so, you know, it's, uh... It's not on my radar, and I kind of feel like it's either you either love the place or you just don't care for it at all. Not necessarily hate it, it's just there's nothing there for you. So, makes you wonder, I don't know. So, does anyone actually want to hopefully see those 18,000 people return and maybe open up the park MGM? I mean, obviously, I know y'all don't want anyone to be out of a job. That's fact in the matter there. No one wants anyone to be out of a job. Uh, and I, I think uh, MGM's really looking for lots of things to kind of revitalize traffic. They're doing the MGM work from Vegas campaign where they're offering these like $100 a night packages or something crazy like that. And then you get like an executive assistant and the plan is to have you work your work week there uh, by the pool or what have you. which. I, I can't tell you how, how bizarre that would be just going and doing my regular job in Vegas. Like, I've taken a work call in Vegas before, and I did not enjoy taking that work call. Oh, we got that electro link again! Let's get it, spinners and sharks! Let's work it out. On our last 10 spins. Perfect timing. And it's a major, too. We got that major. Not Megatron, but Majortron. All right, let's go ahead and see how this goes. We need a re-trigger. We just need one more of these. Re-trigger! Oh, I didn't do it well enough. My accent wasn't British enough. Okay, so it looks like we're actually... Uh, okay, 153 million. Looks like we're actually breaking even on this one. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We're over the 5 billion. All right, and that was a couple more wilds. But yeah, let me know, would you guys be down to work from home in Vegas? And I guess you get an executive decision, uh, assistant, you get a food credit and all that. So, you know, it's not just $100 a night for $100 sake, even though I'm pretty sure you still pay resort fees. I think that's the bit that kind of turned me off to it, um, but was the payment of resort fees. I feel, felt like that should have been included in the package. All right, guys, so that's it for our spins over here. So it looks like we are ending at 5,139,771,574 chips here. So let's take a quick break. We're gonna go ahead and do some maths and uh, count up the booty. All right there, Spinners and Sharks. Uh, three times the largest free spin win is coming our way on the first over here. I'll let you know how much that was, but I'm sure it's gonna be substantial because our payback percentage on this game was 123.57%. So meaning we put just short of uh, 500 million into the machine over here and we put just over 600 uh, million back out. We pulled 600 million back out, I should say. So 611 million chips came out of this machine over here after an investment of 500 million. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that Electrolink uh, Luxor Edition can have that favorite here. Like, Electrolink games are generally pretty good. They'll keep you afloat, nothing else, uh, if you have a decent bankroll to survive those dips and, you know, those hills and valleys, those peaks and valleys, so to speak. That's what I was looking for. That was the phrase. Um, but yeah, that's about it, my spinners and sharks, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you on this one over here. I'm taking the next week off, so today, um, this is being released Saturday, August 29th, so that means the soonest I'm gonna see you guys back is Labor Day, gonna go ahead and uh, take a week off, gonna spend some time with my spouse and uh, help her recover from her surgery that she had this last Friday, so I will see you guys on Labor Day. Alright then, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Once again, special thanks to our friend Yo-Yo over at Play Studios for hooking us up with a couple billion chips to go ahead and try this game out. I highly recommend it, so much love to them. If you haven't checked them out on social media, feel free to. Also, if you want to support the channel while I'm out, go ahead and check out our other social media platforms, and consider popping by the Teespring if you're interested in getting some fresh Ace of Vegas merchandise for yourself. But until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas.